In this video you are going to learn how to use uh, packages downloaded from ext.js EU site. I am Saki, a well-seasoned developer, instructor and consultant. Let's suppose we have a uh, already functioning uh, grid where we want to install a grid multi-search plugin. So this is a demo application I have created. It's a grid with paging that already works. The grid is created as a part of workspace. So here we have workspace where we have this demo application and this demo application contains the grid. Grid is uh, nothing very special. We have a model here that we need for the store. That is uh, quite a straightforward configuration. We just need to have a good URL and uh, in this case also action methods and reader. The store just uses this model, nothing special to it. And here is the grid view configuration. We already creating a city store with auto load true, remote sort and filter true. We have some columns and that's basically all there is to it except this paging. Now I suppose we have already downloaded uh, the package file from the ext.js EU and placed it into our workspace packages. Workspace packages. Here is the zip, so the only thing is to unzip it. When we unzip it, we get a directory which contains uh, everything there is to it. So we could try to navigate to packages. and to docs. So here you see the complete documentation of the plugin. What is here? EXT Saki Grid Multi-Search where we can find all the configuration options and we can find also getting started guide that is pretty easy to follow and that is what this video is basically about. Okay, so let's integrate the plugin into our application. For that, we need to edit uh, app.json, where we need to add into the requires array that is already there but empty, the package what we require, and that is uh, Saki grid multi-search. Okay, it's there. Now we need to require our plugin somewhere in the city grid view. So in the requires, we add uh, ext saki grid multi search so that the ext loader uh, loads it upon initialization okay that's pretty all uh, of course we need to configure our column somehow so let's say we would uh, want to hear filter true Filter true creates by default a text field. And we also need to add a plugin into plugins configuration. So for that plugins, p type would be Saki GMS. And that is all there is to it. Of course, uh, now there are also CSS classes there and uh, application doesn't know we uh, included this plugin. So we need to build our application. Sencha app build. Okay, so build is completed. Let's see what happened. Okay, we go back to our demo application. And here we see that we got a filter in the first column where we defined it. So we can start to use it. Let's say AA. Yes, it does filter. We get the cities with uh, AA in their name. If you want uh, any other type of uh, filter, it is pretty easy. So let's say for longitude, we would like to have a combo with Western and Eastern. So we configure it uh, quite easy. We find here, yeah, longitude. I have already prepared some combo definition there. So I just take this one to save the time typing. Okay, 
So what we see here, we define this filter as a combo box with a very easy store. It, this is a, a value that will be sent to the server greater or equal than zero. And that would be Eastern Hemisphere. Uh, less than zero, it would be Western. Of course, your server has to support these operators. So let's see what we get now. For that, we need to save it and reload the page. Okay, so for longitude, we get a combo. We can go here to Eastern and Western. As you can see here, we have some display problems and it is because we haven't required combo here. So we need to require it here. EXT form field combo box. And we also need to refresh our application and rebuild CSS. So Sencha app refresh, Sencha uh, and SAS. Okay, the build is complete, so let's see if it repaired. Yes, now we get nice combo. So let's say we want Western Hemisphere. You see it is everything is less than zero. And for Eastern, it will be greater than zero. Okay, this was type of uh, very simple combo here with some local data, but we can have also a much complex configuration. As you can see here, we use uh, combo with uh, uh, separately defined store with a model and some another kind of data. Data for combo can be remotely loaded and so on. For dates, we can use date field like it is here. It is another example. So generally spoken, the filter fields are up to you. What you put there, you get there. So to recap, you download the plugin file to your packages, a directory of the workspace. You unzip it. Then you edit your app.json file to require the package. Then you need to require the plugin and to configure your fields to have uh, filters you like. That's all. Happy coding.